Hey guys, it's Amelia, but not the pilot, just Amelia. Hello boys, I'm trying to make YouTube videos more consistently again, let's go! <laughs> I have another book video for you today, cause that's what I want to talk about. I just really want to talk about books, essentially all the time, cause all I really do is read, so let's get into it. I'm going to do the end of the year tag today, created by Ariel Bissette, I think. She's a Canadian booktuber and I will link her down below. Let's get into it. First question is, are there any books that you started this year that you need to finish? Is there? Yes, there's a lot. <laughs> I have this bad habit of starting books and not finishing them. So yes, if you follow me on Goodreads, you will see that I am currently reading like nine books, but in actuality, I'm only reading like two because the other ones I've started and I'm like, I will finish that, but um, probably not going to. We'll see. First up on that list, I do really want to finish this by the end of the year. The 99 PI book, 99% Invisible City. This book is like, oh, I flipped to the most boring page, of course. Very cool, nice design. It is a design podcast that I listen to. They released this book to showcase concepts that they wanted to talk about but are hard to do podcast form. So they did them in book form to better illustrate what they wanted to teach us. And I just really like this podcast and I really like this book. I got about halfway through it and I literally was reading it straight through, <laughs> but you don't need to read it straight through and maybe that's my problem. <laughs> but I'm hoping to finish this hopefully the, by the end of the year, we shall see. This actually came out this year too. Very nice book. I also, don't hate me for this. <laughs> I started These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong and I, I just couldn't get into it. I don't know what it was, but I don't really know what I was expecting either. I thought it was gonna be more fantasy stuff, but it's more like a Romeo and Juliet retelling in Asia. And I really do wanna finish it because everyone's raving about this book. It's all over TikTok, all over BookTube. And I just, it, it, it was interesting, but I just couldn't get into it. And I don't know if it was like the romance aspect or something, but I wasn't, it wasn't adventure enough for me, I think is what it was. It was more like a mystery, but it wasn't getting into it fast enough. So I'm waiting on the audiobook to come in in my library so I could finish it via audiobook because I think, I think physically reading it was holding me back. Do you know what I'm saying? Next question. Do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? Yes, I do. I am reading only autumnal books from all of September in through November, I think. Currently, I just finished reading The Night Circus, which was immaculate. Next, I am hoping to read Whoa, <laughs> If We Were Villains <laughs> and Once There Were Wolves, which are both spooky books, I think. I don't know. They were recommended to me via the internet and I'm very excited for them. So I'm excited. They both seem autumnal to me. I'm not sure. They just have spooky vibes. Wood, woodsy death vibes. So that says autumnal to me. Are there any new releases you're still waiting for? Well, I was waiting for Anthroporcine, an the Anthroporcine Reviewed and I know it's out but I haven't gotten it yet and I do want to read it. And then I know there was a new Outlander book coming out, which I also want to get and read, but I'm also like four books behind in that series. So I don't actually know if the new one came out yet. What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? I'm so glad you asked because I've planned out the entire end of the year as I do, cause I'm insane. As I said, I'm hoping to read If We Were Villains and Once There Were Wolves, but I'm also hoping to read Pyrenee I don't know how to say it, Secret History, and also the Golden Compass Trilogy. Um, we'll see if all of those things happen. I don't know. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? I really don't because I read so many books, like amazing books so far this year that were such great five stars, but nothing has surpassed Addie LaRue is literally my new favorite book of all time. And I just, I don't think any book will ever surpass that. Night Circus came really close, but Addie Lerou was just so, so good. It was like everything that I could want in a book and it was beautifully written, amazing characters. There was traveling, there was magic, it was spooky. Oh, 
I just loved it. And I just don't think any of the books I'm going to read for the rest of the year or ever again will be as good as that book. Have you already started making reading plans for 2022? Of course! <laughs> I am a planner. I've already planned out the next like four years. What do you mean? <laughs> I already have 42 books in my 2022 reading list on Goodreads. <laughs> I'll just read a couple off the top because I'm obviously not going to go through all of these. But I still really want to finish the Rick Riordan books that I have, the Trials of Apollo series I never finished reading. I really want to read Akatar because everybody is talking about it, but I just simply don't have the mental capacity to do that right now. I'm considering rereading the Vampire Academy books because I really liked them in like middle school, high school, and I want to see if they hold up. I'm curious. I really want to read The Goldfinch. I really want to read Hamnet. I would really like to read the Name of the Wind series because I've been told it is Harry Potter with a magic system that makes sense. <laughs> so sounds good. So that's just a small tasting of what I have planned for next year. Yeah, this week I'm planning on reading If We Were Villains and also Mexican Gothic. And then after that, I'm hoping to read Once There Were Wolves. And I'm going to be rereading the Raven Cycle books because, oh, I love them so much. And I haven't read them in a hot sec and they really give me fall vibes, you know? So that's what I have planned for this end of the year. I did indeed reach my reading goal already of 100 books. So... I'm sort of free to do whatever I want now. We're only in like the first week of October. Um, so I'm a little shocked that I hit 100 already. I've never done that before. I guess that really shows how antisocial I've been this year. <laughs> but it's only the first week of October, so I hit it a little early and now I sort of don't know what to do with my life. So, um, anyways. That's my reading goals for the rest of the year. I hope you liked this video. <laughs> I'm super excited to do my reading wrap up for this year because I read so many good books. Ah! And stay tuned for my spooky season wrap up. I am reading so many good books right now. Spooky season is my favorite time of year. So thank you guys for watching. Bye!